a um, beard. Um, I just woke up well, three hours ago. It is five in the morning. I went to bed a little early. Not, my stomach woke me up. So I'm pretty bored. I'm pretty hungry. I don't want to cook anything right now. I don't really have a lot, and I have neighbors. Um, so I'm just gonna go run to Walmart and maybe McDonald's. Um, so I'm taking you guys on the adventure with me. Shut up. Fuck, focus. There we go. Uh, sure I'm not fucking with you. Yeah, it is indeed 5.04 in the morning. So let's... It's fucking game. So, um, well, we're driving to Walmart because I'm going to a Walmart I rarely go to, but I live near. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about what's been going on, uh, why there hasn't been any videos in a while. And um, I was going to film a video, and I actually did film a video, but it was really depressing, so I decided to get rid of it. Um, plus, also, my mind kind of changed since then. Uh, I'm going to make sure no trains are coming. Anyway. Um, so, what's been going on has not been a good thing. I'll, I'll just openly admit it. Um, I have been in a very bad, depressive state. Yeah. No, we'll keep going. <laughs> I've been in a very bad, depressive state. Uh, I was really under the impression no one gave a shit about me anymore. Uh, I thought I could never amount to my talents. Uh, whatever talents I do have left. Uh, it was just a really bad month, like month and a half. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't even tell anybody I lived with. I didn't tell my roommate. Didn't tell anybody in the insane asylum. Didn't tell even Lockwood CRM. I live nearby now, um, like less than a mile. I'm just, I didn't tell anybody. I, I guess I'm telling you guys now. So I've been going through that shit. So it, that's been the biggest reason why there has been no content for me. I just wanted to take a time away from stuff, and I, I feel bad because I did promise a lot. In fact, I'm definitely not going to meet the deadline I want to make for a certain project of mine. But life goes on like how it is. That's how things go. And you got to always, you got to, life always gets in the way. So always be prepared. 15 miles an hour in the school zone. Who is up this early with me? A bunch of lyrics. Also, there's cop cars. Gotta lower my phone down so they don't think I'm, uh... I don't think I'm uh, texting and driving. So anyway, um, yeah, so I've been going through a lot of shit. And, um, but... Fret not. My... Uh, I feel a lot better now. Uh, I, I genuinely do. Uh, some recent things have happened in my life that I... I'm starting to feel good, I guess, about. It at least makes me happy. Um, some people have left my life that I didn't much care for in the beginning. Uh, some interesting things at work are coming about. Some a bunch of just a bunch of good stuff, just a bunch of great stuff that's happening in life. So yeah, and I I don't know why I decided, hey, let me film this video. And then as soon as I got in my truck, I was just like, how about I talk a little bit about what's going on recently? And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what, that's what I've got to say. So, um, I'm very Christian. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Some of you might be wondering, where, what happened to the beard? What, what, are you, what are you doing with the beard? Because last time you mentioned it, like last year, it was, uh, it was a play. I was doing that. I had to get rid of it. Uh, I'm not in a play this year. I, took, I decided to take uh, breaks from plays. Um... I just, just genuinely been fucking gone. Uh, it, it all started because one of my best friends, he was shit, he was growing out this beard, and I thought he was pretty, he was pretty cool looking. And a lot of people liked the beard too. He was growing, but my, but he shaved it at one point. And everyone did, hated it, and then he's just like, no, you just, he's just like, it got to the point it was annoying. I didn't want to touch it anymore. It just, I'd just rather get it started. And then they looked over at me and they're like, is that true? And I was like. Sometimes, yes, we do. Us men do that because sometimes we just sit there and we're like, this is gross. 
Uh, and I just, uh, it was a year. It was a year of a beard, so, you know, trimming it out, of course, every once in a while. But you just get bored. You get annoyed with that shit. You get bored with it. I remember, like, Coca-Cola and Michelob Ultra, anyway. You do get, you do... When you have a beard, it is a full-time responsibility. And I don't even do half the shit. I don't even do, like, three-fourths the shit I'm supposed to do. Like, you know, maintaining it and everything. I feel like a fucking rat. I feel like a fucking degenerate for not caring. Because you'll talk with, like, people who are really big into this stuff. And then you're just like... They're like, well, what's your technique? I'm like, I just get up. I kind of brush it sometimes. And it grows out. And it's just, I don't know. Because my hair is already naturally curly. My beard is naturally curly so that's a lot of fun but yeah but uh, back to what I was saying it just every once in a while you just really 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 want to just get it rid of it you just do um it's just uh one of those things you just you're, you're like I'm done with this I want to take a break from it I just now realize somebody's on my ass this whole time I don't give a shit I'm taking a joy ride to town asshole anyway you just you get tired of the beard and I just got tired of the beard oh fuck the sun's coming up dude can I get that on camera anyway uh just yeah it's just one of the, my, my final answer is just I got tired of the beard I don't want to shave it off uh, but this thing is growing faster than I expected like this is just uh, let's say I, I, I shaved it because we had a party and it was a theme party, and I wanted to make an excuse that I was creating a caricature. So I shaved off the beard, but left the mustache for a bit, a minute, and then I shaved the mustache. Oh my god, the moon looks cool too. Oh fuck, I'm gonna be in for a great opportunity here. Anyway, so yeah, uh, oh, all in all, just I wanted to get rid of the beard. And don't worry, it'll grow back. But hell, I, I imagine by the end of May, it'll be in a somewhat better, you know, be back to normal, to normal, I say normal because I remember Rugrats used to do that shit, I'm sorry I'm a very, uh, being very boring probably, this is like one of those vlogs that people really liked, um, nine years ago on YouTube, now it's just me doing it again, great, I'm bringing back an old shitty trend, alright, so we're close to the, we're, there's the McDonald's, there's the Walmart, I will, I will now end this video, if I find anything interesting, I'll, I'll let you know, bye. TBH is more people here than I expected there would be. Like, I mean, I understand people do go at Walmart at night, but uh, not to this extent. The darkest of night comes, but then there's the brightness of Walmart. I don't think I'll need this, but very safe and sorry. I really want a mat, but it's like very sarcastic and asshole I just want one that's just like, get lost asshole or something like that. <laughs> I like how uh, both toys I was looking for two different two different series. Uh, they don't have they have the same wave of something that I want something, but they don't have that toy. Like there's these fucking these things. They don't have the laser beaker rabbit yet. Um, these NASCAR things. They don't have a specific car I want, but they have the wave. Hashtag I don't care. It's kind of good they don't have what I'm looking for because I don't have any money. I'm fucking broke. I don't even know why I'm going to Walmart or McDonald's. Oh well. So I find it like weird that like drawing pads cost this much for literally packs of paper that I can just pick up right here this much. They're probably cheaper. Can't find the price but uh, believe me. A little weird. Fuck. I always like going into the cereal aisle and seeing like what shit they create now to kill kids. Um, yeah. Frosted Flake Lucky Charms, which are ass. Uh, fruity Lucky Charms, which whatever. Probably like Fruit Loops more marshmallows. Honey Nut Frosted Flakes. Honey Buns. Sour Patch Kids, which are good, but by themselves. Honey Buns and Birds. That's just normal, that's normal cereal. Uh, probably the most normal cereal they have on this one home yet. <laughs> so I'm about to probably open like a can of worms, but I 100% am okay with scan and goes at Walmart and then getting rid of a few aisles. My reasoning behind that is because as much as like old people on the internet will complain that it get rid of some jobs, 
Well, they should have opened up more than fucking three lanes in a fucking Walmart. It's not like a job thing. They just, uh, granted, yeah, technically they just don't want to hire new people to, you know, be specifically that. I'd rather just go right up to technology beep and then get the hell out. Because me, me no computer. Also, the sun is coming up. Beautiful. So we're gonna go grab McDonald's. Because I'm now starting to get hungry and a little bit thirsty from talking. But some of those aisles I went down to, like I would say something really outlandish. And fucking there'd be somebody on the other side of the lane, so it's just like, oh, fucking cool. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd like a buttermilk crispy chicken biscuit. Just the bis, uh, just the thing. Uh, a six piece of donut sticks. And a large Coke. And that'll be all. 656, thank you. Thank you. I get mad because this McDonald's has two drive throughs I went to the second drive through they never answered me. Went to the first one first, although whatever the fuck. So I drove around and then the other lane, and they fucking took the guy behind me to order. So I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wheat. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, we got the food. Now we're gonna go home, and we're gonna probably sit down. Hell, I may fall asleep, but either way, we're gonna we're gonna munch on some food. So let's uh. What should we discuss till then? So, okay, here's one, and this is a really weird fucking thing to talk about. But, uh, I've been on the thought of, of that poor, uh, girl, Jojo Siwa, or whatever, Siwa? Whatever the fuck. Siwa? I don't know. But I don't even know. I feel bad for that girl in a way, because, like, I feel like she's gonna have the Disney route, where, like, you know, all these years she was under the, like, this brand that she had to be, you know, super kid-friendly and all that shit and all that. Uh, and then, like, as, I imagine as soon as she turns 18, she's gonna go fucking nuts. I, I already feel it because I feel like those fucking bow ties on her head um, are, like, pulling her fucking hair out every day. Because her forehead's all the way up to, like, her fucking top of her scalp there. So, like, I feel bad for that girl. The reason I think about that is because I was looking at those fucking drawing pad things. Um, I just saw fucking Jojo Siwa, whatever the hell, like, bow ties and shit. Not bow ties, just like tie bows and shit. And I was just like, I, f I and then just, re like, rekindled how bad I feel for that girl. Also, that girl looks just fucking hellish. She just looks scary to me. Uh, her fucking scary-ass smile and everything. It just, children scare me, I guess. That's the beauty of moving, I'm, I'm now just thinking about it. The beauty of moving to where I've moved now, which is a college town, there's like fucking 24 hour open places. Back at home, the latest anything was open was midnight. And the earliest anything was open was 5.30 and that was the McDonald's. So to live in this town where like thing, McDonald's and Walmart exist, and McDonald's can be two McDonald's or 24 hours. And Taco Bell's are open pretty late, and all that. It's just a fucking beautiful thing. Because you had to drive, where I lived originally, 30 miles or more. Just to get to the nearest, like, Walmart, Taco Bell, anything. It's, it's, it's just a beautiful, it's just a beautiful thing. For, like, years, I wanted, like, our town to at least get one 24-hour business place. Hell, even if the gas station just was open 24 hours. You're telling me a bunch of hicks from where I'm from wouldn't be all up and fucking being up for 24 hours? Hell, they'd find a way to do it. Either way, um, we're gonna always get the uh, sun. Uh, I'll film the sun when I get out, I think. Uh, well, it won't be good shit. It won't, I, I don't, I, I don't sleep on that side of the thing. Me and Lockbox here, and this is random, I know none of this shit works. Um, me and Lockbox here, and, and friends of ours are developed, probably going to make an actual new YouTube channel and a show, a couple shows, um, you shall see, uh, hopefully that doesn't, hell, if it's just me, Lockbot, and that one guy, I wouldn't be too, I wouldn't be too entirely pissed off, it's about trains, that's all I can tell you about. So I thank you guys for tuning in to my adventures, um, Content will probably come back. Hell, I probably I'm already up, so I may start working on some stuff. I'm so fucking not tired at all right now. I'm 
probably gonna crash later though. Um, so yeah, new stuff eventually. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm.